In this video, I'm going to talk about how to calculate total resistances in parallel circuits. So in this parallel circuit, I have a 10 ohm, 20 ohm, and 30 ohm resistor, and I want to find out what the total resistance is. In other words, if I were to rebuild the circuit with the battery, what one resistor could I replace that these three with? So I want to find R total for parallel resistors. So for parallel resistors, the equation is a reciprocal relationship. It's 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. And if we had more resistors, we would continue to add them up in the equation. Um, in the variables part, we have R total, which we do not know. We're trying to find that out. We have R1 which is 10 ohms. We have R2, which is 20 ohms. And R3, which is 30 ohms. So the solution part looks a little like this. It's uh, 1 over RT, the total resistance, is equal to 1 over 10 plus 1 over 20 plus 1 over 30 and so according to my calculations this is 0.1 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.033 which if you add that up is 0.18 Three, three. That's one over RT though. We want to find RT. So we have one over RT. So if we invert and multiply, and I'll do it right over here so we have a little more room. RT therefore is equal to one over point one eight three three. Point, and I get 5.45 ohms. And so these three resistors could be replaced by one 5.45 ohm resistor, and it would have the same effect. And in general, the equivalent resistance is always smaller than the smallest resistor. So if, as a mental check, I look at this resistor here, it's 10. It's always smaller than the smallest one. Why? Well, imagine this were a highway, again, and there were some traffic here, 10 units of traffic, and open up a second lane, but it's actually got more traffic. However, cars or current can still go through here. And I have a third lane that current can go through. It's really got a lot of traffic, but still some current can go through. So even though I add on two other lanes or two other branches with resistance more than the 10, the overall resistance will become less because some traffic still can be diverted, some current still can be diverted through these other two branches. So the overall effect is less traffic overall. And so qualitatively we have that. Quantitatively uh, we have the parallel resistance equation with the variables. And again, the, the thing that people forget a lot is to invert your final answer to get your correct total resistance for the parallel circuit.